Okay, Cosmos, come on, buddy. It's your turn to shoot. Cosmos, wow. <laughs> you must have had a rough night. Open up at least one of those eyes, will you? And teach us about netting. Thanks, Cosmos. 39 netting techniques. Hello, everyone. I'm your host, the doc, the ghost net guy of Washington State. And your co-host is Cosmos. Oh, he met the cutest little bunny named Missy. I can't get him to do anything anymore. You know, the self-starter in him is just kind of gone. I don't know what he's... Th it's summertime, of course, but I don't... So let's start out with better netting techniques, just like in playing a game of pool. When I'm on the table studying the layout of the balls, I'm looking at what advantages I can take to better position myself so that when I'm going to shoot the ball into the pocket, the cue ball then can roll and put me in position so I have an easy shot. In netting a fish, it's the same way. The fish is swimming all around the boat. He's going around downriggers. How many times have we heard, oh, I lost the fish. It got wrapped around the downrigger cable. So a lot of things are similar to me trying to put the ball into the pocket and trying to get the fish into the net. Because this net is of a round circle and it looks just like you see here. Now this has a four foot hoop and it's environmentally sensitive to the fish because it's a non, try saying this five times fast, knotted net. It's all smooth. So when the fish does go into the net and you need to throw him back because of an adipulse fin, hey, the webbing isn't going to cause harm to the fish. It's bad enough you put the hooks in this face. So, in the netting part of this, you see how long the hoop is and the webbing of the net is? This is a six-foot net with a four-foot hoop. <laughs> there is, however, a trick to netting fish over 60 pounds. And that is you have to keep that net hoop down. And here's a tip. Take some lead of about 15 to 20 ounces and wrap it around the base of the net, right here. This will add weight so that when you are getting ready to net that fish, right, it's already weighted. So when you come down with the hoop, boom, the weight comes down and look how it hangs. This is critical when you want to net fish. The same way with plain pool. If I take and say I'm going to shoot for the 12 ball. Now that gives me the 15 in the corner. Gives me the 11. Throw a little backspin on it. Brings the cue ball over. Take on the 13. But you don't need a lot of power. Same way in netting fish. Don't get in a hurry. Just like in pool. I'm don't get in a hurry and just take your time and everything should come together for you. Just like when netting these fish. Look at this fish coming up to the side of the boat. Wow. Oh. Looks like I'm going to run out on you, Cosmos. Affirmations of life for this YouTube. Self-starter. What? Yeah, be a self-starter. Don't procrastinate. When you procrastinate and you think about the job you got to do, it's for some reason, I don't know why, but it seems to get larger in size. So don't do that. Also, don't be one of the people out there, and I'm serious about this, that wait for changes on their outside before they get started on their dream on the inside. You need to set some goals, because if you don't set goals, and you're not a self-starter, Chances are you're going to end up in a net only to be flayed out on a cleaning table. <laughs> That's not good. Eight ball.